What's going on guys? Spot's going to be doing another little walkthrough. I know you guys like this, uh, the last walkthrough I did on how I buy things from eBay. Wanted to do another walkthrough about a upcoming well, site that's just started and uh, it's been getting a lot of buzz. So I've had a couple of people say to me uh, I should give it a try. So that's what I'm doing. We're going to just do a walkthrough of how to get set up on Gemmer. And uh, Gemmer, from what I've heard, is it's a website where you can post uh, your own collection. So if you have collections of things, and I know you guys always say, well, Spots, show us your collection. If you want to see what Spots collection is, I think I'm probably going to start getting into doing stuff like this. Um, it's a place where you can take pictures of your, th essentially think of it as like Instagram. If Instagram was like geared towards the collector, you can go on there, you can post images of stuff you've added to your collection. You can post group images. Um, I've seen a lot of people post individual pics of if they've just purchased something or, you know, in, in the case of, you know, if I've just done a review, I could post images on here of, you know, of the stuff I've just added to my collection. You guys can go over here and check it out. So, we're kind of doing this gorilla style. I've got the little, sorry about the lights on either side. I just want to make sure that the monitor is bright enough here. And uh, we're going to go through this together. And, uh, well, Spot's going to get set up on Gemmer. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I guess I'm going to go into, I don't want to, I could learn more, but I, I'm just going to go right into get started. Uh, I'm going to come up with a username. And, of course, uh, well, no better username for, for myself than to use the review spot. And it helps also if you spell it right. Uh, I'm going to put in a password and, uh, well, I'll, uh, we'll be right back. It would also help if Spot didn't go to login. Instead, we want to go to sign up. Aye, aye, aye. Anyways, we're going to put in, I'm going to put in my name and I'm going to put in my email. Nothing new there. And of course, let's come up with a password. First thing you'll be greeted with is registration is almost complete. Before you can log in, you must first verify your email address with the instructions we have just sent you. And I got myself a little email. It says, hello, review spot, just to verify that this is in fact, yes, my login. I'm gonna click on that. Verification a success. Now we can get ourselves started. So it looks like when we first log in here, we've got a section for news. Uh, section for clubs, collections, and for sale. So that's one thing I, I can tell you right off the bat. One thing I like that is there's a section for collections, but also if you're selling stuff. Sometimes you guys do ask me if I'm, re if I'm selling anything that I've just recently reviewed or do I have said item I'm thinking about selling. I guess I could technically go into here for, for sale and I'd be able to sell an item in there. So that's kind of neat. I like that. We scroll down. And it says today's Gemmer feature site walkthrough. Okay. And similar, similar enough videos to some of the other stuff that people have done. So like, for example, Nerd Fu has done the Funko Heroes, Batman DC Heroes uh, figure. We've got some Ninja Turtle figure reviews. Grim, Grim Toy Show's got something going on there as well. So it looks like there are people that have already started posting on Gemmer. That's kind of neat. So I guess I will be adding myself to this, this big marketplace, this big community called Gemmer. Okay, so let's get ourselves started. So if you can follow along my little mouse here, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm kind of just playing around with this. I'm gonna go up to plus, next it says high review spot. I'm gonna click on the plus and it's gonna give me a section to add my collection, things I want and things I have for sale. And this seems to be the main area where I can then add stuff. On the side, I've got a section for dashboard, profile edit, profile view, items, collections, clubs, museums, activity, friends, and awards. So I guess I can go in, you can add friends, which is a nice concept. Again, you're just expanding the community of people you can meet on here. It's really essentially, a long time ago, if you remember, Spot did something called a meet and greet, where you could go on there and you can kind of meet people that have similar interest and uh, and, you know, through that process, you can kind of meet and uh, follow new people. So it's kind of really similar to that. I'm not going to take any credit by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not going to take credit for that. But there's a section for clubs, uh, museums, activity, friends, and finally awards. So uh, why don't we start adding some collection to it and start beefing up Spot's profile. 
And I haven't done this, I haven't done this yet, so we're gonna kinda just go and learn this together. I'm gonna click in Collection, we're gonna see what that does. Um, okay, so for starters, you can put in a short title, uh, detailed description, you can put five images of your item. Uh, there's a category you can put, uh, groups, tags, YouTube video. Oh, you can also put a YouTube video and that's good. So really, I could put an image of something I've just picked up and if I have a corresponding video, I can add that to it and I can kind of, I'm essentially creating an archive. I'm allowing my, myself the opportunity to create myself like a virtual uh, archive of everything that I have in my collection. Uh, I've already taken a couple of pictures of some of the things I just recently reviewed and I'm going to add those and uh, we'll see we'll see how it works out. I guess the first thing we'll want to do is select browse and we'll select images that we're going to use at least for this entry. And with the folder open, there's my little mouse there, uh, I've got a couple of images of things I've already just recently reviewed. I did like the, not really so much the first appearance, Captain America from Diamond Select Toys, but I've got him. And I did the DC Collectibles, Throne of Atlantis, Aquaman, and uh, Mira. We got that right there. So I'm going to start with clicking on, we're going to click on Aquaman and I'm going to hit open. And once I did that, I've got uh, one image. I just called it one. Uh, I got the label right here, so I guess I can give it a name. So I'm going to put uh, uh, Throne of Atlantis Aquaman. It also helps if you know how to type, which I still am working on. Going to give it a title, which I guess I could. You know what? I'll call I'll, we'll call Aquaman down here, Aquaman One. Or you know what? We'll just take this all off. I'm going to call this Aquaman 1 because I'm probably going to add more images. And then up here, I'm going to put DC Collectibles, DC Collectibles, Throne of Atlantis, Aquaman. There we go. And maybe in the description, I'll put uh, from the animated movie um, Justice League. Throne of Atlantis. There we go. Now that I've got my title, I've got just a brief read up. I can uh, add a little more to that. I'm going to click on collections. And I guess as it stands now, I only have the main gallery, but my guess is I could probably add other gallery fol folders. Like I might have a section for hot toys, um, DC collectibles, uh, maybe some retro toys. Currently though, I'm just gonna add it to gallery and we'll see what else we have here. We have a section for uh, groups. I don't have any groups just yet, just yet. And once I have it, which I don't actually have just yet, but at the time of this video, uh, I've recorded the video, I can add the YouTube attachment right here where it says YouTube video. Paste a link to a YouTube video or YouTube video ID and we'll embed it into your item page. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add Data, and Add Data looks like it's got a category. So almost like if you were selling something, you want to put the category in which you are posting this to. So let's find one. I probably would want to put this under Action Figure, not so much as Comic Book. Even though it's a Comic Book character, the item itself is an Action Figure. I'm going to click on Action Figure. I'm going to put in the brand, and the brand was DC Collectibles. By the way, if you guys do enjoy these little tutorials from time to time, do let me know and Spot will do his best to try to add more of these. Character I've got is Aquaman. Condition, well, he's brand new. I just opened him up, so I'm gonna put new. He's not mint, because I did take him out of packaging. Uh, production date, I'm not quite sure, sure. Size, let's say six inches. And then we're gonna go ahead and I guess we're gonna save and add another. Let's try hit and save and add another. And it seems to be loading. So far, so good. With that all saved, I went ahead and I clicked on my profile right at the top there. And it takes me to this. Here's the section of what I've just added. This is a review spot two minutes ago. DC Collectibles Throne of Atlantis Aquaman. I've added that. Here's some other suggestions of things that I can check out. So I can go ahead and watch those. 
There's an active stream section. Uh, there, here's the section for social networks. So there's uh, incoming friends, friends, and pending. You can also invite friends from, uh, from I guess, Google and Facebook. I like that. Over here, it tells you how many things you've added. So right now, I've got zero friends, lone tier. Zero friends, collections, I've got one. Items, I've got one. Uh, no comments just yet, no clubs added just yet, and no crowd scores just yet. A little section for my bio, I can go in and add, I can add my, uh, let's move the light out of the way here. There we go. You can go in here and you can add your profile picture. And your your stuff is located down below. Museums, I've had zero. I haven't joined any clubs just yet, just yet, but it will happen. Uh, my section for galleries, and again, your items. And we'll tr click on that. It gives us our items currently I've got in my uh, in my profile. So right now I've got one. I've got uh, Atlantis, Throne of Atlantis, uh, Justice League, excuse me, Throne of Atlantis, Aqua. I can go in and I can view it or I can edit it. Let's just click on view. And there it is right there. Nice way to present the piece as well. Gives you your title at the top, collected by myself. And we scroll down below. Uh, there's uh, comments people can add. I can edit the item. Comments down below. So if somebody says, oh, you know, how big is this? They can put a little comment down below. And again, it's like social, it's like social interaction. You know, where did you get this from spot? I picked this up from, you know, said item down below. It's essentially with Gemmar, from so far what I'm seeing, it's a cultivation of social media, a place to collect items, and a place really to share passions and interests with other people. So let's go back to my profile. And again, profile edit, profile view. Let's say, for example, we want to click on uh, Zephon2501. He posted a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle classic collection. So I'm going to click on that. And let's see what it does. I haven't actually picked up these yet, so I'm kind of a little jealous that uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection Original Movie Leo. And it's part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection that he's got. A little read up he's got. This is years of collecting. I have so much stuff. Like my other collection, it will take a lot of time to put it up here. I can equally share that sentiment. I know I'm going to be a uh, sentiment. I'm, I'm going to definitely be probably adding a lot of material on here. But so far, and one reason why I wanted to shoot this video basically from like the start all the way working myself through is that I kind of, enough people have said, Spot, why don't you get on board Gemmer? Gemmer seems to be like a place where a lot of collectors want to go and hang out, kind of just post what, they, what they're adding to their collections. And uh, I wanted to give it a try, but I wanted to give it a try right from the very beginning, kind of just walk you guys through as I'm going through this myself and just kind of get a general first impression. From it stands from a first impression, I like it. I do really, really like this. And again, I can go into, see my little cursor, I can go up to plus, and I can go into collection once again to add a new collection item. I can go into wanted, and that's one thing I'm, I could see myself making use of, because there are certain things that I wanted to add to my collection that I just haven't had a chance to pick up. And maybe there's people out there, again, kind of like, here in Canada, we have something called uh, Kijiji. I don't know if it's something that you guys have in North America or other places, but it's a place where people can sell items. And uh, this could kind of be on that equivalent too. Like if you, if if I'm looking for, I'm just going to throw something out of the hat here. Say I'm looking for the Hot Toys Dark Knight Rises Bane. I can put that in there. And maybe if there's other collectors out there that are on Gemmer, they could inadvertently, you know, they could contact me and say, you know, I have item. I can send it to your way. Okay, do you have any images? Well, I could probably go into their profile and view the images that they have in their collection. I can also do that with things I want to sell. So, first impression, I like this. I do like the format of it. It seems pretty user-friendly, and Spot can be an idiot at times. It does seem like it's pretty user-friendly. I can go and I can add things to my collection. I can think things I'm looking for. Uh, I can put in here, and also things for sale. So I get enough people saying, you know, you know, are you getting rid of any, you know, specific item? I can always say, you know, head over to my Gemmer profile and you can see some of the things I'm currently selling. So it seems like it's a it seems like it's a one-stop place that you can go to as collectors to post what you currently have in your collection, 
things you're looking for, things that you want. And then along the way, you know, you can also meet people. You know, you can add friends, kind of like a, it's kind of really like a selling place like eBay, a place like Facebook where you can meet and talk to friends that you, you, you know, maybe you can meet friends on here too. And it's a place to show your collection. So first impression, gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed. I am pretty impressed. This is probably gonna be something I'm gonna be going to more often and uh, to share obviously the opinion that the Ninja Turtle collector had out there, uh, Zfon 2501. I'm probably gonna have to say the same thing. There's gonna be a lot of things I'm gonna be adding on here. It's just a matter of uh, taking the time, taking some pictures, and I can put uh, I can put my growing collection on here that, uh, you know, if you guys aren't already watching the videos, and I guess, how would you be seeing this tutorial if you weren't watching my videos? But uh, if you aren't watching the videos, or maybe if you wanna see stuff that I haven't reviewed yet, like for example, the Aquaman, at the time that you're watching this video, I haven't posted the Aquaman yet, but you can kind of see, you know, you can kind of see some some uh, details on the piece before I upload the video. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to provide the link down below if you guys are interested in checking out Gemmer. That's uh, www.gemr.com. Uh, uh, head over there, see this sign up. It's free. I mean, there's no cost or anything like that involved. And uh, you can meet people. You can post your collection, sell stuff, and post things that you want. It's kind of like the one-stop place for collectors. Uh, just a little tutorial today, guys. You know, this, I guess, is now my second tutorial. Today, we were walking through and having a look at Gemmer. And uh, certainly, as, as well, stay tuned for more videos. I might do more of these if you guys are interested in these little walkthrough tutorials. Um, let me know down below. Let me know down below. And in the meantime, certainly thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.